scriptures in their rotary guiding rotarians in their personal lives in their as well as in their professional lives in their brief questions questions are not based on culture or religion instead they are a simple checklist in ethical behavior they transcend generation and national borders as rotarians we should have the four way test in mind in every decisions we make all alone our utmost responsibility is to speak the truth to be fair to to build better goodwill and better friendships and to do our very best in all situations the four way test of the things we think say or do is it the truth is it fair to all concerned will it be with it with it build better friendship will it be beneficial to all concerned hindi daw ano hindi daw contento ang well pag well pag welcome namin sa inyo kaya magwi well dance po kami The Rotary Club of Alaminas will uh, present a dance number.
dikasih itu penuh di belakang ini merah oh betul ya maya kopin mat ulo tuh We proceed to the introduction of the dignitaries, visiting Rotarians, and guests. Our chief of staff, Val Panopio. District Governor-elect, Sirafika. Outgoing President Melchora Kayabia, <laughs> Incoming President Julio Malikdem, <laughs> District Governor Jess Saman, The Rotary Club of Metro Malasiki, headed by Mona Doria. Please rise up. Rotary Club of Urdaneta East, headed by Romy Edrada. Rotary Club of Urdaneta, headed by Doroteo Santiago. Rotary Club of Downtown Dagupan, headed by District Governor-elect Willis Serafica and the Secretary. Rotary Club of Ordinate North, headed by Jaswat Singh. Rotary Club of San Fabian, headed by the President-elect Judith Obando. To formally open and welcome each and every one is a charter member of the Ro of the Rotary Club of Hundred Islands who became president in the red third year 2018 to 2019. She was awarded as one of the most outstanding presidents and the club was a platinum awardee. She's the owner of the Mellow Touch Printing Press, which was established last 1995. She is a licensed Zumba instructor. She's a major donor level two. My call on our visionary and hardworking secretary, past president Laura Estrada. Good afternoon, fellow Rotarians and guests. It was actually on the same date last year, the 23rd of September. That's about a few hours from now. At this very moment when I received the email from Rotary International that our club, the Rotary Club of Alaminos, is chartered. The joy was indeed overwhelming. This would not have been possible if not for the collegial efforts of few good men. But please allow me to make special mention to the person who said nothing but yes without even asking the consequences. Ang tanong ko, pwede po ba kayo kuling sponsor kasi magpapacharter po ako ng bagong club? Walang kagatol-gatol na yes ang kanyang sagot. Ladies and gentlemen and fellow Rotarians, with pride and honor, I would like to take this opportunity and the honor and utmost gratitude. I am referring to no other than our district governor-elect, Willie Serafica, from the Rotary Club of Downtown Dagupan. So our fellow Rotarians from the Rotary Club of Alaminos, please join me as we say thank you to DGE Willie Serafica, And our fellow Rotarians from the Mother Club, uh, Rotarian Rose Parike, their PE, I think. 
thank you so much, DG Willie, for sponsoring our club. Of course, I will. I would like to make special thanks to everyone who made it this afternoon, especially to our district governor, Jess Sama, for traveling this far amidst the pandemic. My classmates who are here, meron ba? Sepses, my classmate. Uh, AG Kataleya, yung magandang AG. Banda doon na napakaputi, nakakasilaw na puti. The champion president, the classmate of my better half, thank you. Uh, from the Rotarians of our sister clubs, who will be signing with us a little later. Guests and friends, thank you so much for gracing this remarkable occasion of our club. Thank you so much for joining us celebrate this very important day of our Rotary life. We are forever grateful. Thank you so much for coming. So in behalf of all the officers and members, of the Rotary Club of Alaminos, our Rotaractors, the members of our RCC, especially my secretary who is also the president of our RCC, who exerted so much effort during our chartering. So in behalf of them all, I welcome you to the first handover, second installation and induction of new members, and most importantly, our first year anniversary. Thank you so much and welcome to Adamino City. So we have visitors from the Rotary Club of Hundred Islands, Mr. and Mrs. Bong. May I do the honor to present to you the youth who work side by side with us in taking action through service, thereby developing their leadership and professional skills, the Rotary Club of Anaminos. As I call your names, Rotaractors, please come up front for your induction. President, Abara Kent Carlo. <laughs> Board of Directors, Ricky Maria Cristina. Board of Director, Yes, Jessica. Board of Director, Mayor Rose Katambay. Board of Director, Monica Senen. Board of Director, Rosario Ana Rose. muna kayo dyan habang i-introduce ko ang inducting officer natin. Our inducting officer for the Rotaract Club of Alaminos was hailed in Urdaneta, Pangasinan, where he acquired his primary and secondary education. He is an eldest son among his siblings of eight. He obtained his college education from the Luzon University with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Commerce major in Accountancy. Afterwards, he found his work life in Manila, where he pursued and succeeded in his marketing jobs in various com companies such as Dispo Philippines Incorporated, Bebron Medical Incorporated, and Welcome Philippines Incorporated. It was in Manila and in the industry in Manila where he met his spouse now and forever and Percy Serafica, who worked as a business manager for Abbott Laboratories. Influenced by his job of more than 10 years in the medical and pharmaceutical industry, he put up a pharmacy and drugstore business at the Gupan City, where she became resident of more than 10 years now. His involvement in Rotary started in 2003 
with the Rotary Club of Downtown Dagupan. He became club president in 2015 to 2016. After a year of his presidency, he eventually became the assistant governor of Cluster 2B in 2017 to 2000, 2018. Walang hinto but tuloy-tuloy ang promotions niya in Rotary that in the following year, at his first attempt for governorship, he was elected as DGMD with a record-breaking 14 votes against two split. It's the very first time in the history of the District 3790 that this happens, maybe because he's a real manifestation, witness of a person with true humility. When he was approached to be our club's DGSR, he didn't even ask what requirements he was to comply. But he agreed at once.